Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to please thumbs this video up. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, gonna tell you what we're doing today. So today, you guys, we are doing a breakfast mukbang. So looking forward to this. I'm hungry as heck, what about you? I'm hungry as something else. All right, then, <laughs> then let's yeah. get into the video. Yes, I am so ready to eat this, okay? So what we have today is bacon, eggs, avocado, tomato, some blueberry and strawberries. We have a cheese danish, is that raspberry? Yes. And a cinnamon roll. Yes. Let's I go. think it's a strawberry, strawberry? actually. Yeah. Ooh, I never heard of strawberry spoon. I got some, um, I have some tea that's supposed to give me some energy. It ain't gonna work now. Some tangerine tea. How's it not gonna work? How do you know? It has just you drink all kind of caffeine stuff, and I don't think any of it ever. Does. I can drink a cup of coffee before I go to sleep. All right. <laughs> if I drink a cup of coffee, I'll be up for three days. Okay. Mmm. Put a little agave in it. I didn't put enough though. You guys, so we got on the, on the tomatoes. I put spike. Well, this is not the container, so I shouldn't even be showing you this. But I got something called spike. It is so good. Mm, it is good. Yep. And I like to put hot sauce on my on my tomatoes. So, oh, we got plates. Yeah, don't need that. Ooh, that's too hot. You don't need a plate. <laughs> no, I never need a plate. Don't need you that. Are, you know, I don't do plates. Mm. Mm. I'm so hungry, y'all. Mm. Now I do plates, but not on milk bombs. So good. Mm, mm, mm. But you know what? I think I'm gonna do a plate this time because I want food like fast. You don't want it to keep coming in. Yeah. Um. You guys, we have not had a breakfast. My probably bacon. only since the last breakfast bung bong we did. Okay. Right, which was a month ago. Oh, I want avocados, but I don't want avocados. So I'm gonna go and take them. Mm. Give me some tomatoes. This is let me spin this right mm. mm. So I think we're gonna do another another breakfast mukbang in a few days. Mm -hmm. So tell us what you think we should eat next time, guys. I'm thinking of pancakes. Right. Yeah. And what is your favorite food for breakfast? Can I can I have a piece? This? Yeah. Cut it into fourths. Here you go. Just make sure I get the stuff. Yeah. I don't like cinnamon rolls, you guys. So mm. you won't be seeing me eat any cinnamon rolls. Oh, that has too much on it for you. Let's do this one. There you go. Thank you. I love these, you guys. Cheese Danish. So good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This shit is good. I like this one a lot. The red one? Mm hmm. The strawberry raspberry. I think it's strawberry. I don't know. Mm -hmm. mm. Raspberry. Raspberry. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm about to dance in a minute, y'all. Oh, shit. I'm doing way too much hot sauce, but it's okay. I live. Mm. Woo! Mm. Yes. I could not wait mm -mm. to get some food in my belly. Okay. I hope y'all can see the food. Good. Mm -mm. So today we have an interesting topic. Somewhat. Yeah, if you're new to our channel, normally eat for a while discuss the food and then later we'll have a discussion that a topic that we'll be talking about mm. Mm. i was hungry y'all i'm feeling better <laughs> oh yeah i'm feeling so much better 
Mm. I'm gonna taste your um, spike and hot sauce tomato. We remember to put the link down below. Cool. You can get the link, the the spike at your local grocery store, but okay. I, I get it on Amazon sometimes if I can't find it because you can't always find it. And it is so good. My grandma got me using it, so you know if the grandma got you using it, it's good. Most specifically on steaks and baked potatoes. That's all you need. Do you put it on the steak after I cook it? No, because you cook, you know. Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah. But. I should try to make it with that. Mm-hmm. It has like 30 different, um, like dehydrated vegetables and spices inside. It has bell pepper, onion, garlic, all that. It's so good. Mm. So, this is a breakfast book, Mom. But it's like one o'clock. Right. So, breakfast for lunch, Wes. Yeah. <coughs> now, y'all, this is my favorite breakfast. What? Just straight up bacon and eggs. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hated them. But now. What do you guys have for breakfast today? Mm. I love pork bacon. Can you eat it? Mm. Part of me feels bad about eating it. Mm -hmm. Not for the pig, but for me. <laughs> but I eat it anyway. How y'all been? I don't know why I feel like We've been away. We've been away for so long. We have. We didn't feel like that. Huh? Mm, excuse me. Oh, we didn't do a video yesterday. No, we didn't. Maybe that's why. Yeah. We haven't gone live in forever. Um, I was gonna say we were supposed to go live on your birthday. Didn't do that. Yeah. We'll probably be going live today, y'all. Which is actually the, yesterday. Right. But <laughs> if y'all were there, thank Thanks. you for joining us. Mm, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. The link will be in the description below. That's where we have our son on there sometimes, and then we just, you know, vlogging. If you like vlogs, you just want to see us doing regular stuff, regular life. You want to see our whole bodies, because I know sometimes when I watch people, I want to see their whole body sometimes. I want to see them walking. Not because I want to see their body, but I want to see them, like, walking somewhere. Tasha be trying to check people out. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm really literally trying to look at their whole entire body. I want to see them walking like they're human, not like they're just from the chest up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so what I was gonna say is related to that. For everybody that's been waiting on your birthday vlog, y'all, we have bad news about that. Yeah, sorry. So about not even halfway into the day, I broke my phone, which is our primary source of vlogging. So we completely stopped vlogging for the day after that, and then also I don't even know if I can get what I did take off of the phone yet. I think so, you can. I don't even know what phone it is. It's in the car. It is? You saw it? I didn't see it, but I mean, I think. Yeah, so. Y'all, I think she broke it on purpose because she wanted a Note 8. She had a Note 5 right now. <laughs> so she hit it up against my leg and it flew. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I didn't do it on purpose, but I do. will tell you that I have been wanting a new phone. And I take not bring myself to get it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess the vibes I've been sending out. Uh, let me break this shit so she can get a new phone. Because <laughs> I took that shit forever. I mean, I've already had it for like three years. Mm -hmm. And it was working perfectly fine. Yeah. You already know. We the queens of saving money. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I, was, I looked down at my flip flops I was wearing to you guys and I was like, oh my God. I look homeless. Oh. I mean, those flip flops are on their last leg. I was embarrassed. <laughs> so, I was embarrassed for you. We be doing a little bit too much sometimes. It doesn't look bad. Um, I was about to show you on my phone, but it's over there. The whole back is cracked. Oh. You know how the front will get cracked? And you gotta get a new 
glass because you can't see. No, my back is cracked, and I it's just it's been like that for a year. It happened like a week after I bought the phone. I was like, as long as I keep working, I ain't paying for nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when I go in there to buy my new Note 8, I see that the Note 9 is out. And I was like, oh, wow. I really want to get the 9. But I would have had to pay $180 up front versus zero. So I went for the Note 8. Yeah. I'm going to get me a flip phone. Next time something <laughs> happens to my phone, I'm not lying. Only reason why I don't want a flip phone has nothing to do with cosmetic. Nothing like that. It's because... I, I need map questions, so like, and the flip phones don't offer that. Right, exactly. If it had everything, please, I'll be flipping it out too. But um, then again, I guess not, because now that we do YouTube, we kind of need our phones to look and comment on the videos. We wouldn't be able to do that with a flip phone. I'm sure. So, yeah. We do use our phone a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they take advantage of us by making them cost. Like, the net nine is $900. Mm -hmm. They are taking advantage of us because. That's crazy. Why am I paying a whole car note, two car notes? Maybe three for a phone, something that's it's really needed nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't want to get their younger kid a phone. I didn't want to get my son a phone when he was 10, but yeah, think about the fact that, well, if something happens while he's at school or anything, I want to be able to contact him. So, mm -hmm. but our parents didn't, right? And we were fine, and we were perfectly fine. It's like now that we can, it's like we can't live without, but we were doing stuff we wasn't supposed to be doing, I bet. That's true. More but like they get to do more stuff that they ain't supposed to be doing, by having access to. Everything they do on the internet. That's true. They can have stuff they're not supposed to be doing delivered. All kinds of stuff. Just on demand. Mm -hmm. I feel like they get exposed to stuff much faster. That's they're true. able to look at it. They have control. My parents didn't let me look, work, watch certain things. They have yeah. control over that. Remember, y'all, when we tried to watch stuff, we had to look through the fuzzy line. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> That's how we watched it. When Purple Rain came out, my mom was like, nope. You can't see that? For real? Nope. My, my older brother took me, though. Mm -hmm. But... She was like, you can't watch that? I was like, why not? I'm going I'm fine to wait. I wasn't supposed to go see Eddie Murphy Raw. Mm-hmm. Went to go see that you one. Saw the no. Oh. The movie. Oh. So mom, blame Steve. Oh, it was Steve? I thought it was Kevin. Steve took me everywhere. Mm. <laughs> he he was like, yeah, he, he did everything I wanted I to know that I wasn't supposed to do. Um mm, I'll say. Maybe seven or eight years old. Okay. My sister used to have me listen to all kind of, not have me, I wanted to. She had me rehearse the damn DJ Quick Tonight. I knew all the lyrics. <laughs> Man, I knew all the lyrics. <laughs> and my parents were deaf, so. They didn't know what the hell you was doing. They didn't know what was going on. My dad could read lips. He was like, mm, you cussing. And he told us one time, remember that song, Doing the Butt? Yeah. When I was a little kid, he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I know what that is. <laughs> Are you? Mm -hmm. He knew the song. I don't know how, but let's get into it. All right. So today, what we're going to be talking about is a topic that a lot of our viewers over the last uh, year that we have been on YouTube, mm -hmm. a lot of people ask us this. So obviously, it's something that a lot of people are faced with or they have um, experience with with their family and friends. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about it today, and it is um, how to overcome depression. So we want to say first, we if, if you want to do the traditional going to therapy or even meds, then that's something that you know that you can make a decision on. I'm not going to recommend that um, or not recommend it. Okay, so if you want to go seek therapy, I think it's a good idea if you don't have any other outlets or you don't you've tried other things. Mm -hmm. Um, or even if you haven't, therapy is not a bad thing. I just think that a lot of therapists may recommend meds, which I don't agree with. A lot of therapists will tell you to go to a psychiatrist. Yeah. And I know I had one incident when I was early 20s and I was feeling like depressed or whatever. So I went to a doctor, a psych psychologist. She referred me to a psychiatrist. They, they gave me some medication. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it or whatever. Now let me tell you, I tried the medication and what was wrong with me? Everything? Yeah, I was mean, just you were depressed. I was worse. You was, you was yeah, you was yeah. yeah. Wait, you're talking about when um I yeah. those were headaches. You're right, you're right. So I got yeah, that I got that wrong. Even, you weren't even going for it. I got that wrong. Mm -hmm. I got it for headaches, but this medication was supposed to help with nerve headaches but also cause depression. Yeah. 
So you're right. But it was bad. The situation I was just talking about was something else. Oh, okay. But what, did they give you medicine? They gave me medication and I took it and I was just like, mm -mm, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take it. Yeah. I, I, just didn't want to. I knew somebody who was going through something and they took meds and they just become like became nothing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They, their personality was gone. They were just like very quiet and mm -hmm. this person was really outgoing. They were just going through something at that stage of their life. And I feel like that really changed them. I feel like some medication can act. I don't know about all of them, but the one that I took, even though it was for headaches, it was also for depression, but also caused depression, which makes no like sense. Like, oh, bad depression. And yeah. Suicidal tendencies and shit like that. Yeah. It made me, like, cry. And then I was, because I'm not, like, a big crier unless something happens. But I would just cry for no reason. I was like, oh, no, I'm not taking this. And I had taken it for, like, six months. So I had to wean myself off of it. I went cold turkey off of it and felt, like, lowest I ever felt in my life. But I went cold turkey. And then the doctor was like, oh, you can't go cold turkey because of this. And I was like, you should have told me what it caused. Anyway, exactly. so I ended up tapering myself off of it after a week I was off of it. And I was like, I'm not doing that again. Right. So if they do uh, recommend or prescribe you something, definitely find out what the side effects are. Yeah. And make sure that you're prepared. And, and also, if you find yourself feeling worse or bad or something like that, get off of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Don't keep, yeah, don't, don't say on don't something on that, because maybe because it temporarily makes you feel okay for a little hour or two. But nah, right. the long term effects, I, I don't have time. Right. I don't have time. Yeah, so I have never dealt with like a chronic depression. So I don't think I'm the, the uh, professional or a good, I'm not an expert at how to get rid of depression, but I have been depressed before. I've, I've had periods of depression where it may, you know, a few days or a week, you know, or things that have gone on in my life where I feel like I'm sad more than, than normal until I get that thing fixed. Right. So I can give you advice on what I did, you know, or, or tips things that I, what I did or have done and I don't know how you feel and about me, that. I've had, I feel like I had depression, not chronic depression. I had situational depression yeah. and I was just stuck in the, those situations for so long that I was depressed for so long, but it, right. it wasn't actual. I don't feel like it was clinical depression. Some people are depressed and there's no, there seems to be no reason that they're depressed. So right. I can help you guys or talk to y'all about that. Yeah. So if you, if you know why you're depressed, I think it's probably easier to, to, um, treat it or fix it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what I would do, if I know why I'm depressed, the first thing I'm going to do is think about how I can change my situation. The one time I was wrongly terminated and I went through a big depression with that because I was working so hard, you mm -hmm. know? And I, it was very unexpected also. So I was in, in a little bit of a um, slump at that, at that time in my life. And what I did was I was just like, Okay, what what do I need to change right now to fix how I feel? I need to start. I need to pick myself up. Stop laying around in the darkness, mm -hmm. listening to these sad songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's time to get up. You know it's okay to be depressed or sad for a little while, but then you got to pick yourself up. Okay, let me start looking for new jobs. Think about a lot of times when you go through bad things, it's because something better is waiting. And you wasn't about to get out of it. There's been so many times in my life where I've been kicked out of a situation, and then only to find something so much better. When I got, after I got fired from that job, I never worked for nine, I never worked a nine to five job ever again in my life. My life got so much better because I put myself more into my own business. Mm -hmm. So I had much more time to do that. Mm -hmm. I actually ended up being way more happy than I would have ever been staying at that job. Correct. And I would have never left though. So it was like, that was for my benefit that that happened. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about, well, what is this now giving me more time to do? How can I put myself into another situation that's gonna make me happy or happier, you know? Right. So that's what I did. I put all of my efforts into my own business. I got a part-time job at a firm that helped me to uh, build my skills in the field that I actually wanted to be in. You know what I'm saying? So that was one thing I did, you know? Okay. I think a lot of people are depressed um, too because of their jobs. If you, if you do not like your job, you're at your job more, almost more than you're at home because yeah, you are. You go home and you go to sleep right. part of the time. So your job is like your life. So that is nothing you can do about at the current time. What you need to do is look for something better. Or if you don't have any skills, you need to say, okay, I'm gonna start going to school part time until um, you know, I do better. And while you're going to school, if you're going for something, research what you want to do. You research what you want to do, then if you're going to school for it, you're actually going to enjoy it. That's going to take away, I think, some of the depression. Yep. And um, as for me, I feel like I was depressed for different reasons in my life. Like as a kid, depressed because of what my parents were going through. There was nothing I could do about that, really, except for wait till I grew up. And that's sad, but that was the only thing I could really do. I wasn't, compl I wasn't really depressed, but I was sad, you know, because of what my parents would go through. But then when we were happy, we were happy. 
you know uh, and then when I got older I feel like I was depressed in my relationship because I was in a relationship I shouldn't have been in to begin with I felt I didn't feel like she was the right person and but I was staying in that relationship that made me depressed that made me feel like oh am I just a depressed person you know chronically but no it wasn't that it was the fact that I was in a situation that I shouldn't have been in once I got out of that situation I was not unhappy anymore so if you're in a relationship where you're not happy and you're thinking oh I'm depressed no you're not you just with somebody you don't want to be with exactly and this could also happen with friends too if yeah you, if you're dealing with friends or a lot of negative people or people that bring a lot of drama mm -hmm. you got to get away from those people because they they will bring your moves down a lot too if you're not being yourself your true self you're going to be depressed because yes. you're stuck it's like you're in jail anybody i'm sure everybody in jail or a lot of people in jail are depressed because they're stuck mm -hmm. in a cage they're locked up they can't get out that's the same thing if you're living your life as if you were someone else or you're living your, the life that your family wants you to live or living the life that your you know friends want you to live you have to be your true self and if you don't know who you are you need to find out who you are and I think finding out who you are is just sitting down and saying okay what makes me happy what do I like to do you got to really sit down and think exactly. if you actually take the time to sit down I think I know life is hectic and you got all these things and you don't have time to think but you have to take some time to think for yourself alone and say okay what is it that I want to do besides even if this person hated it would this make me happy don't think about how other people are going to feel about it think about how you're going to feel and as long as you aren't hurting anybody do that thing yes do that thing yeah there was a few books that I read um that helped me to outgrow letting other people change my mood and my be my spirit and stuff like um the four agreements uh, mastery of love and heart of the soul I believe that's the name of it that one's really good if I got the names wrong I'll put the description those books really and we'll try to put the link to Amazon in the yes, description for the well. books. those books really helped me to not start stop taking things pers so personally things around me mm -hmm. and I think that's a big thing about like keeping yourself out of being sad and stuff because you got to understand when people do things that's them mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's not it's not a, really about you Okay, so you basically have to have, put yourself into a, a mindset of peace, where you're at peace with all everything that happens around you, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And even if something that you feel like is negative that happens to you, find the positive out of that. So if you break up with somebody, that's an opportunity to better yourself. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you got to think about the things you contributed to the relationship. And then after that, to find something better, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? Um, when, and when you get out of a, especially a bad relationship, you have a lot more time for yourself, period. Think about those things you want, that you've been wanting to do. Set goals for yourself, start new hobbies, go out and meet new friends. There's a lot of opportunity in mishaps and things that happen, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what you, that's the way you need to look at it. Instead of like putting yourself in a room and just sitting there sad and crying. No, what can I do now? That's right. what I do, you know? There's like, also, I'm sorry, go ahead. I might be sad. I could be sad for a day or two and even me in there crying. But after I'm done with that, then I get my ass up and say, "What? It's time. It's time to be grow. It's time to you know make yourself happy, happy again. Start doing some things you ain't been doing because you've been too busy arguing or whatever. Right? You know? Yeah, I agree. So yeah, I mean, I think I think that's the biggest thing. Honestly, definitely surround yourself with good people, people that care oh, about you. That's actually what I was gonna say. So. If you know there's certain people in your life that make you feel better when you're around them, go around those people. Use them. And I don't mean use them and abuse them, but use them. Use those people because they're put in your life for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you feel like going to church and hearing the word like me, you guys know I don't really go to church like that. Mm -hmm. But I do believe in God. And I decided at one point when I was really low, I was like, let me go to church. Let me just try to get something from it. And it really did help because... Although I don't believe in all the things they say in the Bible and this and that, still the preacher that's standing up there, he does throw out a lot of positive stuff you know and it, 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 they talk about a lot of things that a lot of people are going through so it, it helped me a lot it's like a counselor you know right. so to speak so um be around people that make you feel better hang around those people get away from the people who are also depressed because they're gonna make you sad too they're gonna put their stuff on you not intentionally but you can't be like okay i'm sad so i'm gonna go around somebody else who's sad so we can sulk together no that's not what y'all need exactly. if anything go together somewhere where somebody is positive and happy and they can give you some of their energy, some of their light, you right. know? Yeah. Um, being around Stephanie honestly helped, also helped me a lot when I was not that great before. Um, and we, we were just friends, just being around her because she was such a positive person. She seemed like she was never unhappy, never sad. And the people that I was around were either a little bit negative, had some negative stuff to them. And then the girlfriend I was with was just a sad, depressed 
piece of shit. That's really hard. So it was hard. Every time I come home happy, this motherfucker on the couch just like, right. fix your face or move out. Yeah. You know? So you can't be around people who are also, I mean, to side to say, you can't be around people who are also depressed. Exactly. I had a, I dated somebody for a while and then we ended up um, moving together. And it took about a month, maybe two months for me to be like, you have to leave because she was bipolar, you know, oh, yeah. like, I mean, one day would be awesome. Great time. And the next day she was just <laughs> crying. And I was like, you know, I felt bad, but I can't help her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've tried to be positive. Mm -hmm. I've tried to say, Hey, I took her to places for us to, things that helped me mm -hmm. showed her the books, the things, you know, things. I did what I could. Mm -hmm. And she was still that way. So I was like, I can't let you bring me down. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't sit here and um, I have things I want to do and goals I want to do, but I got to sit here and do this to you every Baby. single day. And you don't even have a reason. Right. Like, you, yes, why are you that? You don't even, you say I have no reason. Yeah. Girl, you better get it together. Or you bring up reasons that when I, like, there were some things that she brought up that I tried to help her resolve and I thought I did resolve them, but she still, she found a way to not use the resources that I was giving her to resolve the fake issues that she was sad about. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, no, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Some people, not everybody, some people are depressed because it's like they want to be depressed. Yeah, I believe that. They, they, and I'm not talking about the majority. I'm talking about there are some, some people, people, and probably some people who fake depressed just for attention and all that. But I also wanted to say this. If you, I, I feel like sometimes if you help people, it kind of makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. So... Um, even though you shouldn't be helping people just to help yourself, if that's what you got to do, at least you're helping somebody in the process. So maybe go to some homeless shelters or go to some areas where you know people are less fortunate and give them something because it's going to make you feel better. If you're a good person, it's going to make you feel better. I agree. And you, you saying that even brought up another thing that I wanted to say about what some, sometimes what I would do is I'll write a list of things that I have, things that are great, that I'm grateful for, and that, and think about that. Like, not everybody has this. Exactly. You have a lot to be happy about. Mm -hmm. Stop worrying about this one or two things yeah. that are making you sad. Do you know how many, how much stuff you have in this life, life that a lot of people don't even have? That's something I used you to know? do even when I was a little kid. I used to be like, yeah, I'm not happy with my family situation, but my parents weren't on drugs. Well, <laughs> my mom wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, but my parents weren't on drugs like that or anything. They didn't abuse me, you know, nothing like that. We had family dinner every night, so we just had other issues. You know, we had, the, they had issues. And I used to think about that like, I could have it worse, you know? Yeah, I have it bad with certain things, but I could have it a lot worse. So, and a lot of people do. And some of those people are even stronger than me, stronger than her, stronger than us, because they've been through so much and they still are doing okay. Because they figured out how. I don't know how they did it, because I feel like some of the things that I've seen people go through, I wouldn't have made it. I would definitely not have made it. But you gotta make yourself strong. Sometimes. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. If you have any um, specific situations that you wanna discuss with us, you guys can DM us at Steph and Tasha on both Facebook or Instagram. And that's about it. If you yeah, guys, if you just want our personal opinion, yeah. we don't have to bring it on the video. If you want it in the video, you can tell us to do it in the video, whatever. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. If you want to learn more about us and our personal lives, please subscribe to our blog channel. The link is in the description below. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our daily videos. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace. Peace.